suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose I'm an inconvenience to everyone around me. Perhaps it's because I've had over 12 near-death experiences involving scotch tape. Or perhaps it's because any time I put on a hat, I lose all sense of direction. He's broken free. But how? It must be a portal. That vagabond and a true miracle of physics, crossed over through this gate from the second dimension. To descend from a higher dimension, like Christ did, is one thing, but from the second, unheard of. A cosmic anomaly even the fool Nostradamus couldn't predict. Makes me wonder, who else might be walking among us? As what was once a symbol is now sentient in our reality. But why here, in our third dimension, a mere simulation to him. Perhaps he is here for colonizing intentions. I must rid him of this realm. Given his second dimensional origins, I can only assume he cannot feel pain. But of course, even we sapiens escape into simulations. Not to exploit, but to recreate our lives as we wish them to be. Giving us a sense of control in a way our material world can't provide, we retreat into these augmented realities rather than confront the uncomfortable complexities in our world. Like the pseudoscience known as multiplication. And as we navigate these simulations tunnels, they lead us to reinforce not only how we wish to see the world, but ourselves. But by prioritizing this individualism, it traps us, preventing us from seeing our true connection to one another. Of course, technology is a wily and manipulative animal. Once had my entire memory erased after staring at a stoplight for too long. But this amnesia is the simulation's promise, as these virtual utopias lull us into a false sense of comfort, while our material world decays around us. And if this is true for us, what horrors is our guest escaping from? Great news! I've decided to let you live. I'm sorry. However, I do know your secret. It is safe with me. Proud refugee. You have been released from your second dimensional bonds. But at what cost? Sir, I'm waiting for a client. And you please. are never to return, as I will close the gate from which you've entered, sealing off the horrors you've seeked asylum from, and thus liberating you from your previous material woes. As your emancipator, I charge you to reside here in peace. For while this may be a fantasy world to you, it is very real to us. Congratulations on your reincarnation onto this plane, interdimensional orphan. Happy birthday. Despite my frequent arguments with children, each day of my life is an enchanting miracle. To breathe, traverse, and feel in this reality is a gift even if it is augmented for some. But no matter, for the simulation will always find a way to make you part of it.